Hello everyone and welcome to the One Class channel. My name is Donna Riel and I'm a recent master's graduate in the Materials Science program from the University of Ontario Institute of Technology, also known as Ontario Tech University. So today we're going to go over some commonly asked questions in chemistry at the high school, college, and university level. So if you needed any help with homework or tutoring, then check out the links in the description below. So now I'm just going to get started on our set of questions for today's session. Okay, so the first question asks, what is the difference between the endpoint and equivalence point in a titration? Okay, so I'm just going to make a comparison chart. of endpoint versus equivalence point. Okay, so basically the endpoint in a titration is when your indicator changes color. And that's if you have like a color changing indicator. Uh, there are under other indicators uh, such as like the voltage, but uh, commonly uh, the indicators tend to change color. So I'm just gonna write that down. Uh, the equivalence point, on the other hand, is when your titrant is chemically equivalent to your analyte. Okay, so another point about endpoints is that weak acids uh, have only one. However, with equivalence points, weak acids can have multiples. Okay, so let's check out the answer from our junior tutor. In a titration, the equivalence point corresponds to the theoretical completion of the reaction, while the endpoint is related to the experimental completion of the reaction determined by an indicator or an instrument. That was a great answer. Equivalence point is the point or concentration of added titrant which is stoichi stoichiometrically equal to the amount of moles of analyte in given sample. For this reason, the equivalence point is often called the stoichiometric point. Uh, endpoint, as the name suggests, the endpoint is related to the end of the titration. For the accuracy of the titration to be high, the endpoint should be as close to the equivalence point as possible. The difference between the equivalence point and endpoint is referred to as indicator error. That was a great answer, so this solution is correct. Okay, so